असतो मकमय तमसो मोतिर्गमय मृत्युर्मा अमृत गमय ओ शांति 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 डिवाइन मदर लीड अस from unreal to real lead us from darkness of ignorance to light of wisdom lead us from death to immortality mm-hmm. lovely to share with you again and there's a beautiful book I wish to share with you the name of the book is the book and it's by Alan Watt and you'll be surprised it's a pretty thin book <laughs> but it's pretty expensive it's almost 2400 rupees a tall book and in the book Alan Watt which I wish to share with you saying I do not want this book to be like the bible or like the gita or like the quran i don't want it to be followed like rituals and he goes ahead and explains he said as you know all of us that this as per all religion theistic religion this universe is created by god I'm not talking about Advaita now. Advaita. Sankhya philosophy. And God was all himself. Ekoham. Remember Bhagavad Gita? And he goes on to say Bahashyama. I was one. I was alone. So Alan Watt is talking in the book that God was alone and for eternity and time and time and time and as the story goes by in the book God felt bored so God thought and thought wanted a solution because there's nobody to play with So who is he going to play and he is alone so what god did he created one is god and the other one he created is not god and god being god he created is not god very good so good that though it is god who became not god god he became not god he became he was so good in creating that not god is also actually god no he is only become not god but he created not god so good that not god forgot that he is god and now they play god and not god and alan watts beautifully brings out it's a story for you and me and children everybody can understand and he says that not god is you yes you have forgotten that you are actually god and you're encased with not god is what prakriti and purusha as per sankhya philosophy you have a body you have a name you have a mind and you think this is who you are whereas the not god had the access to godliness which is happiness 
So this happiness is always there within you. It is like a different angle of the ocean example, okay? We keep talking about the ocean and the waves, the different example, which is bigger. The bubble and the froth are the waves. You will say the waves. Now tell me which is bigger, the waves or the ocean? You say, come on, of course it is the ocean. Without the ocean, waves cannot be there. Without the waves, that water spray, the froth cannot be there. Notice, without the wave, froth cannot be there. Without the ocean, waves cannot be there. Now think, the different example is, can the ocean be there if which is bigger, the ocean or water. Can the ocean be there if there is no water? So it's the water. And now tell me, ask yourself, how much of water is in this universe there compared to when the universe started, the earth started, let's say the earth, planet earth. How much water? When it started, how much water was there? How much water is it now? Is it more? Is it same? Or is it less? Most people like you and me will say less. Unless you remembered your lessons of the school days. And you remember, remembering would be little difficult because we used to mug it up. I'll show you a simple way to remember it. <laughs> this is how we remember. You know, like people used to always get confused in our student days. In the national flag, which one is on top? The green is on top or the orange is on top? It is green, white and orange. Which is on the top? <laughs> a very simple, beautiful example. Grass is green. Correct? The green is always at the bottom. And sky, because of the sun's rise and sunset, is orange. Orange is always on top. Similarly, the water. You would be amazed. The, because of the water cycle, there is as much water on earth today as it had started from. And it will always remain so. You will say, come on, we are running out of water shortage. Nobody will say the water is more, even after flood. <laughs> how much water was there and how much is it today? Nobody will say it is more. Most people will say less. But it's the same. And now compare this with our understanding. There is infinite happiness with God and with not God. And with you and Brahman, Ishvara. Infinite happiness. Then why are we not happy? Why are we suffering? And this was the question Buddha asked. Am I also going to die? Will I also get old? Will I also fall sick? Four noble truths. And the answer over here is very simple. Why is this happiness is where is it? It's within. That water is not become less because whether it is the water content in the ocean or the waves or the bubble or the froth is the same. So what does this mean? Think that it is inside that happiness. But we are searching for it outside. Why? Because we feel we are not God. We feel we are not God. No? Do we feel I am God? 
despite all the Advaita lesson, we say, come on, how can it be? Aham Brahmasmi. It's all nice talk, bookish knowledge. That's what we tend to say. Now, this is what exactly is where we are coming in. I would like you to reflect, think about it. Imagine a bottle, homeopathy bottle. I put holy water inside the bottle and put the cap, homeopathy cap. And then now I put it into a big, nice drinking water, that bottle. Now think, we know if you put one drop of holy water, one drop of river Ganga Pani into a pitcher, the pitcher water all become Ganga. This is the belief in amongst the Hindus and many in India for thousands of years. So Ganga Archana, Ganga worship is also done by taking the Ganga water from the Ganga, Kashi, Banaras, Haridwal, Lachmanjula, take the water from there and they worship Ganga with that same water. Now, just think, I put that bottle, but the water will not become because the water inside holy water is capped. Same thing is the happiness between you and me is blocked with what? With this body and the name and the form. The moment we realize, we understand, we know that I'm not this body. I'm not limited by the body. Yes, I have a body. Yes, I have to take care of the body and I have to do all the exercises and the 38 exercises and do the sadhana and gluten-free diet and whatever. I have to take care, but I am not that. I'm something else. Mano buddhi chitta ahankar na aham. Shankaracharya is famous, Shivoham, Shivoham, Shiva Swarupaham. Now what has happened? Shiva is one is God Shiva and the other one is not God Shiva. And not God Shiva says, I want to get enlightened. I want to attain moksha. Not God, not Shiva is actually Shiva. All you have to do is become aware, know. And this is why the infinite Brahman, infinite Shiva, cannot be explained with words. Paramahamsa Ramakrishna used to say that Brahman is the only thing in this universe. Can't be saying thing, because thing meaning it's an object and it's limited and you have to experience it. No, you are Brahman. So you don't experience it, you are the one. It is like, if you are listening to my talk and I meet you tomorrow or next Sunday and ask you, were you there? You said, yes, I was there. <laughs> I ask you, how do you know you were there? You say, I was there. I said, okay, but how do you know? You don't say, ask my husband, ask my wife. You don't say, I have swept my finger, check, or I've signed the register. You don't say, you check with Ravi. Ravi will tell you I was there. How do you know? You can say, I saw Ravi, Ravi was there. And you say, check with Ravi, Ravi will tell you I was there. No, that's the physical limitation. How do you know you are there? And that knowingness is the consciousness with which you experience the world, with which is the happiness. That is what is called Sat Chit Ananda. Infinite ocean of existence, infinite ocean of consciousness. I experience the existence with my consciousness and consciousness and existence become one. And Sat Chit becomes one. I am the Ananda. God and not God becomes one. That one happiness. Now look at it. We had covered about experience and knowledge on the last Sunday and the Thursday before that. 
you can have varieties of experiences eating great prasadam experience drinking coffee tea experiences or these are physical worldly experiences but experiences always have three differences one there is always difference between one experience to another second experiences always have a beginning always have an end and third experiences always leave a memory remember you remember now just we will get on to all this experience with the knowledge in Patanjali Yoga Sutra through the Kriya Yoga when you attain Samadhi Viveka Khyati is your attainment what is that a knowledge it is not an experience experience of the Samadhi is there but that will finish when you come out of Samadhi it will begin when you get on to Samadhi but after Samadhi that Viveka Khyati the knowledge which is no end the happiness is same way this is by Patanjali whereas in the Advaita Aham Brahmasmi the way the moment I am aware I am the happiness I am that water I look at all the waves I know they are all that same water all I have to do remove the cap of the bottle the holy water mixes with everything so how do we do that in brief conditions apply no remember viveka knowing what is real and not real and vaira what is not real i don't get attached to it i know i need to pay income tax i have to pay I know I must not jump the traffic light. I must not. Viveka Vairag, which is not, I will Vairag. Detach it. I'll not do it. Shama, calmness of mind. These are the conditions to have that happiness within. 24 7. All the time it's within. God and not good is becoming one. Once again. Dhamma, controlling of the senses. I feel like having two more <laughs> pizza. Dhamma. The beautiful thing is when you do that, automatically you attain that. Uparati. Controlling of the senses and getting it within. Focusing within. So where is the happiness? Within. Not out there. Not in that iPhone 12 or Samsung 20 or the car, BMW or the Mercedes or the house or the perfect relationship or having a baby now go ahead and have all of them but become monk like you don't have to become a monk you don't have to run up to the mountain but become monk like always being aware this is not me i'm something else yes i'm experiencing through the body i'm playing i'm acting 100 percent taking care all the relationship but always detached monk like Titiksha, not giving up, I'm holding on to it. Samadhana, studying, dwelling, Shravanam, Mananam, and then Nidityasanam, realizing that through the meditation. Shratta, listening with respect. I'm not understanding it, what is it? But there must be something. For thousands of years, how can our gurus not just Shankaracharya, but Paramahamsa, Ramana Maharshi, Raman, Ramakrishna, Yogananda, they're all talking. Babaji is talking. There must be something. I'm not understanding it. God, Guru, Divine Mother, bless me so that I understand. I'm not going to give up. And then, Mumukshatta, Mumukshatta, Mumukshatta. Conditions that apply. I'm not going to stop. I will continue. And when you do this, you will understand why Brahman cannot be, you know, expressed in word. Words are limited. Words have five limitations. I'll just touch upon it. We'll cover it on this Sunday.
it is jati guna action these are five jati guna action sambandha action is kriya jati kau guna get me the red flower kriya i want to talk to the driver call him he is double park the car sambandha i am student i have a guru teacher and mother that means i have a child and rudhi rudhi is when it doesn't fall under four you say okay all right why don't you just say okay that is brahman so when you say this is ram you have to point at somebody i will say who is ram you say call ram i say who is ram he said there then you know that one is ram here who are you going to point who is brahman which one is brahman and beauty is the ayama and niyama in which you remember 5 plus 5 disciplines will run over it again but in which shankaracharya is saying you have to follow that satya ahimsa like that <laughs> brahmacharya parigrahya instead of that just know everything you aparigraha don't take others thing ashtya don't do stealing he says how can you when you know that you own everything you say come on i want to be rich like that guy and have two cars like that person i don't have it no that i which doesn't have is like the wave feel that wave is bigger but the moment you realize i am the same water in this wave and same water in that wave i am actually enjoying those two cars and what happens two things happen number one thing is you develop vairag detachment with a smile you don't feel like i'm giving up something and number two the moment you give up the things come pouring at you from the supreme universe jay guru reflect think on it let's see let's have some good questions if you have om shanti shanti shanti